everyone welcome to figure fantasies for june it hasn't there hasn't been that much action in terms of new figures in terms of new content so we'll have to be contented with a little bit of a slow month and looking forward to july okay so for again let's start off with our 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 tier list so for beginners so this is your july tier list for beginners it's the same no change there were no reworks in any of them of any sort so it's going to be the same it also for the mid game it's going to be the same uh figures that we have here um nothing no change at all so it remains the same the only change that we have is uh, not even for two specialized so it's the same figures. You have uh, Camille, Yamazaki, Astaroth, Norris, Akechi, and Suzumi. Suzumi might be the only one here to go back up um, if she shows promise. Because I I think of all of the uh, of the, all of the six here in the two specialized, she's the only one that's being used right now in summon teams. But again, she's very niche in terms of you know. Uh, just strictly with summon team. So again, she is sticking with two specialized. Moving up is going to be your good figures. You have still Zhao Yun. Uh, I think needs a rework in terms of damage. Yoko, um, again, is, is going to remain in good because, again, it's hard to get copies of her. Zhao Yu can go up a bit depending if Galatea would, you know, Galatea lacks uh, some figures. So, um, Zhao Yu will st really, really stay here as of the moment. Osuke, if only his damage were, were that, you know, impressive or at least uh, he's really average right now. But if he goes above average, he's also, he's, he's also going to go up. Sani as well needs a rework. Um, although her kit synergizes well with, um, with, uh, I forgot her name. With Crusell. Um, as a standalone, she doesn't really give you that much. Yuina as well. Hard to get copies, but could be better. But still one of the good figures. Um, Alfred. Um, he's going to be your your starter striker for, for Tenma. If you don't have any. Then you have Vivian here, just a good AoE figure. Then to round out the good figures, you have uh, Irens. Irens actually was um, was or is used to be one of the above average figures. But I noticed recently that um, during the end game, she cannot really hold her own. Her damage is not that um, it's not that good. And uh, her ability to save the front line or the, the or the figure in front of her is really not, you know, it's not enough at this point. At this point, I'd rather have um, mass healing from Mako or from Zephyr, but from Irens, I think she's going to be she's going to be going down. Good figures is going to be where she's going to be moving forward. Um, let's see the others. So above average. So you have Vazarwin here, of course. Mako here, of course. Aoi is one of the dark horses here for above average figures. Because right now for the end game, she's more used already. A lot of summon teams are preferring her. A lot of teams are preferring her because of her end game capability so she's for now she's going to be re she's going to remain with above average then you have xantha kane here of course um she's one of you know the best uh single target damage leaders that we have although she's a specialist and uh ayakino is actually here the reason why i have her here number one is for those who didn't get the event it's really hard to get copies of her Plus, um, her debuffs are are not as consistent as I thought, and her damage is not also that good. So she's gonna go down to above average figures. Moving on to nearly at the top, you have Krosus, um, one of the best defenders that we have. We have Rin, one of the best 
uh, Vanguard, especially for Tenma. Chow Chow is here. Uh, Lubo is here. And Harriet is here. Harriet has seen a lot of uses recently because of the endgame content. So she is going to definitely stay nearly at the top. Probably go you know, up top uh, if her usage is actually going to spike up. Then you have Izumi here. Um, Izumi, even at 4 or 5 star, is really a big help. So I'm going to put her there. She, she can be put into different factions or brands. Then we have Crocelle here. Crocelle is actually inching her way at the, um, going up. So for now, I think she's going to be toe to toe with Zerola. She could have her potential is higher actually than, than Zerola. Uh, not her potential, but her ceiling. So watch out for her. She's gonna probably go up top, especially if she's at five diamonds already. If you have her at five diamonds, and if she continues this trend, she's gonna move up a tier. Then to round out the nearly at the top is going to be Hyun Cha, which is our new figure for the collab yuncha is uh freezing and burn resistance uh reduced uh hp recovery for himself and allies when attacking infected people so in um uh, he is uh, her skin's kind of good provides a lot of um, a lot of healing a lot of defensive capabilities and debuffs uh, special re reduction from burn and freeze resistance. The one thing that I don't like is the silence disable. So her, his mechanic is kind of weird for silence. I wish that they could have changed it. So that is actually what my gripe for him. Because again, um, if um, if he's going to have a similar uh, silence effect as um sakura um he's gonna be good so but he's only for silence disable i think i think this is only for one 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 ally that you have one figure ally that you have you disable a silenced uh hero or figure so again that is why he is still he's near at the top um try to give me guys your comments on him if he should be up top or he should go down and on in the above average figure. So he rounds out our nearly at the top. And the last one is um, our best figures for the game. It's still the same. The only threat here that's going that that could go down is Zarola. At this point, the end game, she has a problem competing in the end game. Uh, not that much survivability on her part. She might go down soon and replaced by Crucelle, but we will see. But you have here Megan, you have here Zephyr, of course, Zuki Liang, Erixia, Hatsune Miko, Ayane Okada, which is still uh, better than Yuncha. I tell you, is she still better with the shields, with the freeze? Um, as long as you build her with lifesteal set, she's going to be a good, good um, shield or defender for your team. You have your Sakura, Emilim, and Rimuru. These two are a beast. If you miss them, um, I'm not sure if you still get them unless the collab comes back. But at this point, I'm not sure there's, there's going to be a rerun for the both of them. There are, have been a lot of, you know... You know, questions about if they're going to be back. Um, but uh, most probably no. So hopefully we could have more figures in the future to probably be at par with Milim and Rimmer or probably replace them. We'll see in the future. We also have incoming collabs for Project Railgun. We have two new figures coming in next month. Hopefully they could add to that, not just two for next month but at least three so that we could you know have other options for our lineups moving forward anyway guys so thank you very much for staying this far as always i'll be putting a link of this uh tier list in the description for your quick reference thank you guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here